Turning to some education stories now, EduTech experts say every child can be an academic success if education is personalized. EduTech advocate Shion Adelaju greatly believes that it is not just enough to make education affordable for the vulnerable and young learners, but also ensure that what is being taught in classrooms is well understood by the students. Victor Mbadike has more. The parents came to complain. This child has failed mathematics twice in a row, back to back. And he called the teacher. The teacher said, I don't know. I've done all I'm supposed to do. I don't know how to help this child. Indeed, it can be frustrating for both parents and students to see that efforts at achieving their set targets are not met. Money spent not well utilized. Time spent in class or during reading hours still does not make sense. EduTech advocate Sheyi Adelaju says while EdTech solutions in Gridley are a powerful means to learn, limited access to digital devices and internet are barriers for most learners. There is a need for impact in, in the grassroots, especially for students that, especially for students that are attending schools that the teachers are not as, they are not so top tier, they are not as great. I mean, that was all the idea of okay, why not build a remedial center, a remedial school that can provide this type of services, students can learn at their pace. Everything that's really supposed to deliver in terms of personalized learning can be possible without the problem of limited access to internet or internet enabled devices, at least for certain hours, you know, daily or weekly. And that's that's like that's the core. So we are solving a problem that we've seen from from the market, parents' frustration, lower rate on education, parents cannot guarantee that they're that child will pass examination without cutting the corners, even after spending six years in university. These young tech experts appeal to students and interested participants to take advantage of the 500 naira per day personalized learning. A lot of students are playing catch up. They continue to play catch up to the graduate. They didn't fully understand what they were taught in primary five, but they moved to primary six and just continue to compound. And when learning gaps compound, it becomes serious achievement gap in the future. That is what bank studies that backs it up. That is, that is work development reports that shows that there is a global learning crisis you know, and it's worse in sub-Saharan Africa. Terrible. What the problem is from teacher angle cannot really be pointed at. Maybe the teacher is underpaid or the teacher is not good enough, that is a, it, it is an onboarding process between the school and the teacher. But what we try to do in Greeley is we just ensure that there is a world standard on who we get onboarded, right? Like a world standard tutor that can teach you that is so good. Um, we have like a, a process of um, onboarding process we created for our tutors. Advantage from Lagos, Victor Mbandike, Silverbed News 24.